the Chinese is now trying to blow our minds with a 7 billion parameter model that is super good with video generations. You can see the samples here. And this company is none other than ByteDance, which is the parent company of TikTok. So this company has released a technical paper and also a couple of samples, but not the model. And I don't think they would release the model because this looks super good. And this model, which is called Seaweed, and they're calling it Seaweed because they think this is the short form of seed video. So this is a research effort, uh, according to them. So the main idea here is that can we build a smaller size model, a 7 billion parameter model for video from scratch that can do really high quality video and that can also be fine tuned for different use cases in the future. So this is a new model, Seaweed, and this model, according to them, They've built using 665,000 H100 GP hours. So their primary objective here is efficiency. Can we have a smaller size model built using smaller compute? In this case, they're calling it smaller compute. And they felt using this computation, computational resource, Seaweed 7 billion demonstrates really highly competitive performance. And as you can see here, the demos are really good. Like I see the demos, one, they've got a really good physics. You can see here when the lady is skating here, she is actually on the floor. So that means it has got the real world understanding. You can see this particular demo where their football is there. You don't see like very crazy gymnastics happening there. The physics is good. And also the, there are like a lot of other things that this model can do. So you can have like a really long shot of landscapes like this. So imagine like you've got a drone shot, you want to model something like that. And this is doing a particularly good job of that. And you can also do certain other things like you can give an image and it can create videos from that. So this is like image reference videos and you can also give the starting frame and ending frame and make it like a keyframe and then make it transition. So this is particularly helpful when you want to transition from one scene to another scene. So you've got like this first scene and then you've got another last scene and then the same thing here. So it can do that as well. It can also do generate videos with references. You can give this man's image and then it can basically create the entire thing, this baby's image, and then this can create the entire image. So it can also create videos based on given audio. So if you have given an audio, it can create human videos based on the input audio so that the video can match exactly the audio that you have supplied, which is quite exciting if you have got like any animation or any talking head video. The other thing is it can also generate audio along with video. This is one of the stunning aspect of this particular model. So it can, while generating the video, so it can generate relevant audio based on that. So you can see here when the horse is coming or moving, you can hear the horse's sound. And this is one thing that people usually do in post production, like they generate video, then generate audio, then sync it. But this model can do the same thing for you. And long shot generation and consistent storytelling, which means you can have multiple different scenes. You can have a storyboard, multiple different scenes. Along with this, this model can also generate 720p HD videos at 24 frames per second. So this could be extremely helpful for imagine like a, a TikTok filter or something like that. And uh, this model is capable of doing world simulation as well. And finally, you can use this model to do fine tuning and then take new model, new videos and everything output. This is an excellent model. They've shared the entire technical description of how they went about building the model. And you can see the details around this. This model primarily consists of VAE, variational auto encoder, which is something that we have seen in stable diffusion uh, architecture. And it has got a latent diffusion transformer, DIT. Since Sora, there has been a strong interest in DIT, diffusion transformer based architectures, rather than simply using a diffusion architecture. I think we have seen this with flux as well. So some kind of a combination of a diffusion transformer. And it seems like the future of video generation is going to be DIT diffusion transformer. I'm not going to go into extensive detail of this. This document explains how they build the model and then you can go check out the samples and then be ready to be mind blown. While this model is not going to be open source, I believe that this can open new avenues for a lot of researchers to use the principles on this model and then fine tune or train new models that can be smaller in size, but also have extensive quality of it. Let me know what you think about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.